Well, we're going to get straight into this heat with uh, De Souza versus Dantes. We saw Dantes come up against Ezekiel Lau and handedly win that heat to move on into this round number three. Finish in the right place. Right now, it looks like Wiggly's going to get his his way and catch that first wave of the heat. Look at this thing under the hood. Beautiful tube right. Comes out over that little foam ball chandelier. Great start right there for Wiggly. Dropping out of the sky, pulls up under it. Here we go. Well, again, this is where he had to paddle hard to get over the ledge. He got over it, and with that forehand, you're able to pump up into the barrel, and that's what's so nice about having that forehand. You're on the toe edge. It literally, you can take off late and pump up. There it is. Gets all the speed right out of that first bottom turn and just glides through it, lets the wave do the work. He did that, and it's not easy to do. As we watch the replay here during the break, we see a quick wave from Wiggly Dantas. Quick in and out for him. See that uh, forehand, you almost, this is where it's hard to slow down. And when you're on that corner, that's why it's almost better for him to be a little bit deeper on the reefs. Looking for our surfers, and we're going to go with Wiggly Dantes dropping into this one, pulling up in the barrel, standing tall. Short barrel, intense, and he just stood straight up through that thing, looking to improve upon his low of a 3-8-3 and pull further away from Adrian de Souza. He tries here as he sets this one up, slows up, and you see him stand up tall. You know, and realizing that he was going to be in and out of that pretty quick, you see him put both hands on the wall to try and slow it down, but it's moving so quickly. Not able to really put the brakes on as much as you would if you put your whole body in the wave. Take a look at Adriano's first wave. Look at that technique, low to the board, but that wave filled up with so much white water. No way to get himself out of there. You hear it just hissing at you. Barks at you. Here we go. De Souza gets a pump into the barrels. Traveling through difficult section, makes it through that difficult Whoa. section, and then just bails out. Wow, as he, he sees get... that wave close out, just nearly missing his board right there, Peter. Up and slam you down. Look at this again, coming from behind it. This one right up underneath. I like the technique. You know, he bottom turned without using the rail. Oh, and then he, a little bit of a stumble, but you see again, carrying a ton of speed up underneath it, then grabs the rail. Generally, you'll see a lot of the guys grab the rail right off the takeoff. But that wave, he needed to grab the speed to get down to the section there. Pulls up underneath, then gets that grab rail. Disappears from view here. Had to punch through it. Did well to keep the speed. And then now goes for the penetration pin drop. Sees that it's going to shut down. Gets the one foot, the second foot. But luckily, did not get sucked back over. It went right off the back. Uh, again, it, this is a sizable set wave with some meaty inside section. Did well. It was very technical, like you had said, and I think that that's part of why the score went up into the excellent range. Uh, plus, you, sometimes you don't. And looked like right here, it, it came down to, you know, really even matchup, both of them having eights, but Wiggly able to get that second solid, solid score. Well, a truly entertaining heat. Heat three of this round three.